enough of all that. Let's get into it. So Andrew Tate, as you all know, is this character, almost cartoonish character, uh, who, who really represents uh, this attitude uh, towards masculinity and, uh, and towards strength and towards what it means to be a man, uh, which basically is, uh, you know, the, 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 the conventional, um, the conventional, but it almost turned into caricature because he, he really is somewhat of a caricature. The idea of a, of, a, of a masculine man is somebody who works out a lot, is in great shape, is, is you know, if, if you work the body and you get the body in great shape, supposedly your mind follows. It is somebody who can get any woman he wants, and he only wants beautiful, attractive women, because that all that matters, after all, is how we look. Uh, he wants, uh, he, he sleeps with, uh, he has sex with uh, many of them. Uh, why pick and choose when uh, you can have access to so many women, sex is what drives him. He is successful at making money, although how he makes money and, and uh, the means by which money is made is, doesn't really matter. It's not about the activity of production. It, it is about the money that it generates, and then it's about ability to consume that money. It is about having fancy cars and fancy toys and fancy homes. Uh, Andrew Tate represents a purely unadulterated and, I think, unbelievably corrupt, materialistic view of man. Uh, there is no uh, spiritual dimension. There is no soul. There is no consciousness. There is no, for that matter, intelligence. None of those things matter. The only thing that matters is material superiority, material superiority of strength, physical strength, material superiority in getting women, and the more, the better. And the material, uh, the material view that the value of women only is constituted in the, uh, the, the sex they can provide the male, uh, maybe uh, that they provide them with children. Uh, but there is no value. There is no value in the relationship. There is no value in the woman's intelligence. There is no value in the woman qua human being, but only as a, uh, 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 as, as a, a uh, instrument of sex and only as an instrument of, of procreation. This is pure, barbaric, ancient, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, materialism. And it, it's, it's indeed quite shocking that so many of the right, on the right, have so many good things to say about Andrew Tate. Uh, I mean, even if they're going to condemn him, they start out by praising him because even those in the right who don't like Andrew Tate, there's something about him that they're jealous of, they, 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 they love, they, they uh, I mean, here's somebody I respect whose article on Andrew Tate is quite good, um, uh, John Hawkins, who writes the culturesiddle.com, um, which is a substack, and I recommend it, and, and, he, and he often has insightful things to say. He's a little bit too much of a Trumpist, but other than that, you know, he's, 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 he's pretty good. But here's what he wrote. Uh, want to know my initial impression of Andrew Tate? None of which I'll take back today. He's a strong, smart, good-looking, highly intelligent, very charismatic, cool, wealthy, marketing genius who's extraordinarily good with women. I mean, that is so bizarre. That is so bizarre. Just take the final point. Extraordinarily good with women. Which women? Women of value? Women you would want? Women that you desire? Not me. No man of self-esteem wants the kind of women that Andrew Tate wants. Andrew Tate is exactly the kind of person that Iron Man talks about, about having gratuitous, you know, lots of sex as an empty attempt to gain his own self-esteem. Andrew Tate is cool. By what measure of coolness? What does being cool mean? Yes, he is wealthy. Yes, he's probably good at marketing. He's figured this out. He is very charismatic, highly intelligent, 
I'm skeptical. Skeptical. He's manipulative. He knows people. He knows how to manipulate people to the extent that people manipulation requires intelligence. Maybe he's intelligent. Is he good looking? I don't know. Maybe the women in the room could tell me. I'm not very good at these things. He's strong. Yeah, I mean, he was a kickboxer. World champion kickboxer. He's definitely strong. No question about that. Smart, highly intelligent and smart. But the really extraordinary thing is he's extraordinarily good with women. I mean, it tells you so much about the person writing this. There is a sudden jealousy there. Is he cool? Again, by what standard? So uh, what women? What women attracted to this guy? I I'm, guarantee you my wife is not. The one woman actually want is not attracted to him. So extraordinarily good with slots, extraordinarily good with dumb women, extraordinarily good with uh, pathetic women, extraordinarily good with easily manipulable women, extraordinarily good with fill in the blank, but not desirable women. Not, to use their language, quality women. Now, to uh, John Hawkins' credit, he goes on to criticize and, 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 and call, uh, you know, Andrew Tate to kind of and, and identify him and, and, and illustrate the fact that Andrew Tate is nothing but a real scumbag. But that's how he describes him, and he says he wouldn't take any of that back. Here's an example, and, and in the story that John Hawkins presents, he gives all the details. This is a story that, um, that uh, uh, Andrew Tate tells about himself, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, partially because it's just, he tells it in, in a series of tweets. Uh, it's, uh, you know, this is a, an account that I think is now defunct called Tate Speech, uh, where he tells the whole story of him seduction of this woman. I'm going to summarize it for you quickly, actually in, in, in John Hawkins' terminology. This is what Andrew T Tate tells in this tweet. He tells the story that he met a woman in London, seduced her, falsely made her think the two of them might have a future together, and convinced her to move back to Romania. I I've read all the tweets. None of this is an exaggeration. This is exactly right. When her mother smells BS, Tate has a had a conversation with her and convinced her that he really, truly cared about her daughter. Then, after this woman quit her job and moved for him, she finds out he's already in a relationship, and her only option is to be part of a threesome. Didn't tell her in advance about any of this. After doing this for a while, the threesome thing, she starts to suspect, finally, that Tate cares nothing about her and asks for some proof. Note the things Tate says she wanted. She wanted to get married. She wanted to have a baby. Clearly, this is someone who, for unfathomable reasons, given the circumstances, has actually been snookered into believing that Andrew Tate is someone who may very well want to spend the rest of his life with her. So he tells this naive woman that he'll prove he's serious if she tattoos his name on her body. Can you imagine any woman that you, I'm talking to the men right now, any woman that you, as a man, would desire who would fall for any of this crap? Now, John Hawkins, as an aside, puts, incidentally, I don't know how many women have these tattoos, but Tate has openly said that there are more than 20 women with tats like this on their bodies. Doesn't that tell you everything you need about Andrew Tate? That he requires women to put their name? So apparently, it's something he gets off on convincing women to do. And it, I mean, there's a man of self-esteem. Talk about narcissism. In any case, she gets a tattoo, and by his own admission, Tate did nothing to show he was serious about her because he's not. He's just leading her on. So he's just nothing. This comes to a head when he leaves town. She gets mad at him, disobeys him. This is uh, Tate's word. She disobeyed me, disobeys him by going to a festival. And Tate retaliates by never talking to her again. Tate would tell you those were just boundaries. 
boundaries? Maybe between a master and a slave or a serial killer and someone stuck in a hole in their basement. These are appropriate boundaries. But what he is talking about here is unhealthy to the point of being bizarre among human beings in a relationship. Look, I, that was me reading from John Hawkins' article where he, he gives the actual tweets. You can, you can actually go and read this. And I encourage you to you know, go check out uh, uh, John Hawkins. Andrew Tate is a, you know, I don't want to call him any psychological term because I don't know what he is technically, uh, although he is clearly a narcissist. Uh, but he is a sick human being. He is not a model of manhood. He is not a model of masculinity. He is a, 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 a model of somebody who should not be allowed to be anywhere near women. Well, not be allowed socially, I'm not arguing. Although, uh, as you probably know, he's been arrested on claims of ba raping women and basically uh, forcing women to work for him in his, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, you know, video, uh, video webcam uh, porn service, right? He and his brother and two Romanian women. I mean, this is a man who makes money off of porn. But I'm sure there are better people who make money off of porn than this scumbag. Yes, he's super rich, making money off of porn. There's a productive endeavor for you, a virtuous endeavor, one that represents real. In a now deleted video, on Tate's YouTube channel. He explained that, he, by the way, he moved to Romania. He lives in Romania. This is where also he's been arrested. Um, he says um, uh, in, this, in this deleted video, he's trying to explain why he moved to Romania. And part of the reason he moved to Romania is because they have less harsh laws about rape in Romania. He says, quote, this is probably 40% of the reason I moved to Romania. I'm not a fucking rapist. But I like the idea of just being able to do what I want. I like being free. Free. Free to rape. He said men living in any Western co country have decided to live somewhere that any woman at any point in the future can destroy their lives. Now, this is true. But this is a consequence of non-objective laws. This is a consequence of the, 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 the you know, demonization of men. This is a yes. The left and the culture is terrible on men, is terrible on masculinity. But the alternative is not a culture of rape or a culture forgiving of rape. By the way, somebody says, never trust a single word Romanian law enforcement says, I'm not reading law enforcement, I'm reading Tate. <laughs> And by the way, in this case, I think law enforcement in Romania are probably 100% right. We'll see as it goes through the legal system. But uh, every, everything, everything about this man's behavior suggests that he cons women by having sex with them. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Right? It, Tate says he loves corruption. He loves corrupt regimes. This is why he moved to Romania. He says, I like Eastern Europe as a whole because corruption is far more accessible. I find it offensive that a police officer in England will stop me and refuse to take, take a bribe. Wow. Uh, then, of course, he, he, said, uh, he said about rape, about women. If you put yourself in a position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. I'm not saying it's OK to get you got raped. No woman should be abused regardless. However, with sexual assault, they want to put zero blame on the victim whatsoever. He then compared women to leaving a, quote, a million dollars outside my front door saying that he had no sympathy for women who went out and drank alcohol, then got sexually assaulted. Really? Take some personal responsibility, he said. This zero blame game is damaging to the female cause as a whole. Protect yourself. All right, let's see. So uh, with regard to these women working for him, this is the, 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 the case that the Romanians are making, right? Here's how he describes how he recruits people to work for him. 
He says, first of all, 50% of his employees, the people who work in the porn business for him, 50% um, of the employees were his girlfriend at one point. Quote, none were in the adult entertainment industry before they met me. Uh, he then explains how he gets them. He says, my job, job, was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, test if she's qualified, get her to fall in love with me to where she do anything I say, and then get her on webcam so we could become rich together. Tate said that if you want to go into a business like this, he's instructing young men and how to start a business like this. He said, you have to have sex with the women you employ. Quote, you cannot sit and do a purely professional business relationship with a female. It doesn't work. If you're not fucking the girl, she is fucking someone else. And that other person she's fucking is going to have a control over her mind as opposed to you. Women who have control over their mind. They don't have a mind of themselves, notice. Anyway, uh, whether the Romanians have a case against him or not, he basically, in his own words, has declared himself guilty. This is exactly what he does. Uh, and, uh, you know, how, how does he use women to recruit other women? I'm going to find the girl, and I'm going to bring her to you, and you're going to tell her how good it is to work for me and how great it is to be a webcamming thing and how smart we are. He said he would go on dates with women for the sole purpose of getting them to start making content for his webcam business. I don't mention webcam until I've had sex with a girl. And then she falls in love with him and she'll do anything he says. Now, he also doesn't allow women to leave his home. This, is, this was in that long tweet he describes, but he's also said this in other places. Quote, I'm all over the place, so I end up with all these chicks just stuck in the house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed to. They're not allowed to. They're not allowed to. He said people might assume the women can go out with their friends when he's not there, but that was wrong. You don't go to the club with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch ass dude is letting his chicks go to clubs without him. No, you stay at house, in the house. You don't go anywhere. No restaurants, no clubs, nothing. <laughs> this is a man? This is, um, this is masculine? This is the most horrible, barbaric, primitive animal. This is not a man. He's not deserving of the, of the title man. He's certainly not deserving of the title masculine. He's just a sick human being. And any woman who follows this guy, is sick. And of course, he is the kind of man who believes it's all about force. All about force. Force makes right. Might makes right. You don't believe me? So here's, here's a short video. Here's a short video of, uh, and you can see how good looking this guy is. It's a short video. It's, it's one of those short videos on, on um, YouTube. So it's, it's long, so that's why. It's kind of funny in the frame, uh, but hopefully you can see that. And let me, let me see if I can play this. And, uh, and you can tell, see for yourself, um, this is the guy millions and millions and millions of young men admire and respect and uh, want to learn from and want advice from. This is the symbol of a masculine man. And this is primarily on the right. This is the right. Now, we'll get to why this is in a minute. But let's, uh, this, is the kind of, this is the kind of human being that so many people um, love and respect. <laughs> and we have somebody in the chat who, who's, who's a, your aunt still lives in the past. It's 2013 in the age of only fans. You cannot let women go out alone with her friends. You're a barbarian, if you think that. And no, you'll never get a decent woman. You'll never get a decent woman. If you don't trust your woman to go to a club by herself or to a restaurant by herself, you don't deserve a decent woman, and you'll never get a decent woman. This is exactly, this is exactly the kind of mentality that will guarantee you being, A, either alone or alone. And, and you know, 
pathetic. Just, just absolutely pathetic. I don't care what year it is. I mean, the only reason not to let you, you, a woman go alone somewhere like that is if you're for safety. But we live in a fairly safe society. I don't think that is the consideration. Here's Andrew Tate on Might Makes Right. Seriously, who was right about two plus two? You're smart, I'm stupid. We decide to argue. You say two plus two is four, I say two plus two is five. You continue to say it's four, I continue to say it's five until I'm enraged. Now that I'm enraged, I've decided to rip your arms from your body. You say, no, it's still four. I destroy you. Left hook, your chin snaps, your head hits the floor and you die. Who was right? Seriously, who was right about two plus two? Yeah, who was right, guys? Who was right? Oh, uh, God. Yes, I, you know, I live in the past because I don't let my... I mean, the past is where you don't let your woman go anywhere. Since when do women... Why should women listen to you? Who the hell are you to tell your woman whether she should go out, she can go out or not? You guys are nuts. And note that they're here, right here, on, on the chat. This is not... I'm not making these people up. Now, you just saw Andrew Tate tell you that 2 plus 2 equals 5 because he's stronger than you. He can rip your arms out. He can kill you. And therefore, 2 plus 2 equals whatever he says it is. This is a guy anybody should follow? This is a guy anybody should listen to anything he says? Now, what I find interesting about this is what happens to a guy like this? Where, where, where does he go for, uh, for, for um, uh, his uh, belief system? And, and what is really interesting here is that there are rumors, uh, there are rumors that um, he converted to Islam late last year. I don't know if those rumors are true. There's a bunch of videos showing it. But I did find this video where he is raving about the Muslim world, where he, not just the Muslim world, Islam. And I want you to watch this because this is exactly right. This is what Andrew Tate is. He is a, a, a throwback to a primitive world, a primitive world of Islam, a, a primitive world of pre-civilization, a primitive world of pre, yeah, pre-civilization, whether it's Islam or any other religion. In this world right now, what represents that attitude towards women? What represents that brutality of force. Well, it, it's Islam. So I want to show you this uh, quick uh, video of Andrew Tate talking about uh, the Muslim world. I mean, we can, I won't show you the whole thing. You can find it on YouTube. Um, it's uh, uh, Christian kickboxing champion praises Islam. This is Andrew Tate. You can find the YouTube video. You can watch the whole thing. I'm just going to show you a little bit. He's, he's, he's talking here about uh, the fact that he loves Qatar. 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 You can go to Qatar. You can fall asleep with a million dollars on your lap in the middle of the street. Nothing's going to happen to you. Saudi Arabia. That's also true, by the way, of, of uh, South Korea and, and Japan. I, I, I wonder if he's as free to go to Saudi. Saudi. By the way, but the difference is that in, 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 um, in uh, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, the reason is that the punishment for touching that million dollars is so severe that... Yeah, people are scared and people are really, really afraid. Nothing will happen to you. You can go to Dubai, UAE, nothing's going to happen They leave their cars to parked the, with the These are the standards. It's the so safe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's so safe. Women, everyone's married. Every woman obeys her husband. Every single woman has four or five. Every woman obeys her husband. That's the standard. I don't know. There, there are a few women listening to the show. I think my wife might be. Uh, it, it, Gail? You got to learn from this. You got you got to obey your husband. Who Tessie is here, and I'm sure, uh, uh, you know, and and uh, all you women out there, Jennifer's there. You, you got to just obey your, your 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 husband, and and four, five, or six kids. That's a necess necessity. Five, six kids, big families. All you know what big families means in Islam. He he doesn't mention this, but you know what big families mean in Islam. It means multiple wives. Multiple wives. So it's not just a big family, multiple wives, lots of kids, and women obeying their husbands. This is what could be better than the Muslim world, really. And, and, and the amazing thing is, everything he's talking about is life pre-civilization. And yet, he's the darling of millions of kids and is the darling on the right, Candace Owen. Candace Owen.
is a big defender of this guy, Candace Owen. She loves him. She thinks, oh, these, the, what the Romanians are accusing him of, none of that is true. He's, he's such a nice guy. He's a great guy. Great guy. All the things we're talking about, all the problems we have here, right? They've got none of that. None of none that of in Islam. It. Yep. Because of There's Islam. There's no left Islam in Islam. keeps society in the role where women obey their man. Women obey women their men. Women have children. Women have big families. Women are exceptionally happy to do so. Yeah. You've heard, you've heard of all the happy women in Saudi Arabia and all the happy women in Qatar and all the happy women in the UAE? Really? I mean, happy? <laughs> I mean, maybe men like Tate are pseudo-happy, but women are happy in these countries? God, what? I mean, the audacity of claiming this nonsense And this is, this is the American right today. Women are happy when they obey. Women are happy when they shut up and have kids. Yes. Before, yeah. before some Western girl comes in here and runs her mouth, the, the Islamic women are happier than any you're going to see in the club tonight. And they're very true. They're happy. <laughs> Society is functioning. Their population is growing because in most Western countries, the population is declining. Yep. Tim Cass was talking about it today. I was talking yeah. about we were Two people on the have boat. one yeah. kid. Doesn't work. Doesn't work, right? Do you, two people need to have 3.1 kids. People, he doesn't even know the math. 3.1 kids. They need 2.1 kids, not 3.1. You idiot. Die, right? People He's die prematurely, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So we have population problems in the West. They have none of the population problems. Society is functioning. And that's, that's what society is. Society is. All right, enough of him. Society is functioning. It's functioning. This is great. They're having kids. They're obeying their husbands. They're, quote, happy. What could go wrong? I mean, uh, uh, society is just cruising along there. It is wonderful. It is fantastic. Ah. Um, so, why is Andrew Tate so successful? I mean, he has a gazillion more followers than I do. Uh, he has a lot of young men. I don't. I mean, I have you guys. There are some young men there. But um, he's super successful. Why is that? Well, and why does the right love him so much? Well, first, the right loves him because he's anti-left. He hates the left. He hates the whole feminized, feminist, um, anti-man, uh, you know, anti-masculinity left. So they love him because, yeah, we'll have an ally, we'll ally on ourselves with anybody who's anti-left. Where are all the, my followers who usually are on the show and tell me how evil the left is? And we should align with anybody to take over the left. And well, how many of you want to align yourself with Andrew Tate? He is also talking about a real problem in, in, in our society. And that is that men are attacked for their strengths, for their dynamism. Men are attacked for being successful, success is despised. We live in a culture in which, you know, success generally is denigrated. But where women are on the rise, have been for 20, 30, 40 years. Women are on the rise because they were held back for so long. And more importantly, I think, because the changes in technology, the changes in our economy, Make it possible for women to do as well as men, and for some women, much better than the men around them, because we're becoming more and more and more of a society, I've talked about this before, that relies on the mind, not on physical strength, to produce. And the more society relies on the mind, the more women can do the same job men can do, and some women can do it better than some men. It is not rare anymore that women make more money than men. And if you don't have self-esteem, that really bothers you. If you don't have self-esteem, that's unthinkable to you. We live in a society that women, 
women can live, don't need a man to protect themselves. They can buy a gun. We live in a society in which women can be heads of corporations, they can run businesses, they can run pretty much everything because our societies have become more and more reliant on brain versus muscle. A world of muscle is a world of men. And the world has shifted from muscle to brain, which is a good thing because fundamentally what makes us human is our mind, not our brawn. And as we've shifted from muscle to brain, from reliance on muscle, from reliance on strength, from reliance on the physical to brain, women have become man's equal. Men's equal. And men don't know how to handle it. When with low, men with low self-esteem are afraid of women. They're afraid of strong women. They're afraid of women who are as smart or smarter than them. They're afraid of strong-willed women. They're afraid of women who can earn more than them, who gain more respect than them. God, today's going to be a long show. I haven't even gotten to Matt Walsh, and I've got like 500 Super Chat questions. How about we only, because we got so many questions, we only do $20 questions or above for the rest of tonight. And, and if anybody can do $100 questions, that'd be good. But uh, th yeah, this is, this is going to be long. So um, it needs to be rewarding. So uh, only $20 questions from now on, because it's going to be a while. I mean, what Andrew Tate is leveraging is a disrespect for the human mind. By the way, he's leveraging the same stuff as, as what was it, uh, Bronze Age perverts. And anybody who is who's focused on the material, focused on the physical, focused on the mindless, there's a reason why he calls himself Bronze Age. It's the age of muscle. It's the age of force. It's the age of coercion. And it's an age where women did what men told them, or they'd have their throats slit. We live in an age where women don't have to do what men tell them. Why? Because we live in an age where the mind matters, not muscle. And as such, our conception of masculinity has to adapt. It's not enough for us to be strong as men, to be masculine, to go out and protect. It's good to be strong. You should be in shape. But so should women. We should all be strong. We should all have some muscle. You could argue maybe it's more important to men, maybe, for men. But it doesn't matter that much. Not in a sense of how you're going to make a living. Not in a sense of actually being able to protect. Not in a sense of actually succeeding in life. No, guys. The thing is about you guys are out of touch. You guys are out of touch. The people who think Andrew Tate has any clue are out of touch. Because you are out of touch with what it means to be successful in the world in which we're in. You're out of touch with what it means to live a successful life in the world in which we live. You're out of touch with what it means to live a happy life. Whatever the dating dynamic of the 21st century, it cannot be that the standard is wanting to sleep with as many women as you want, manipulating them, demanding that they obey you, seeking money any way you can so that you can have material goodies. It doesn't matter what the dating environment is. It doesn't matter what women, what, 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 what the reality is. Well, women choose the men. So what? Why is that a bad thing if women choose men, the man? She can't force you, so you have to choose her as well. It doesn't work like that anymore. No, it's exactly how it works. Andrew Tate is how it worked 300 years ago. And it shouldn't work that way. It should never work that way. 
you want a woman, you have to earn a woman. You have to be good enough for a woman. It's not true that women has always chosen the man. That's not true image. But the problem is that you guys don't live in the modern world. You guys want to hang on to some weird view of the past. Yeah, it's definitely a bad thing to sleep around. It's definitely not a good thing, certainly not a masculine thing, to just sleep around. And it's certainly not going to get you a happy, successful life. It's certainly not something you will be rewarded for when you're older, that you will reward yourself for when you're older. And if you have the attitude that women should obey you, then thank God women won't date you. Because you don't deserve a date. If you have an attitude that Andrew Tate is a model for anything, then you don't deserve them. Yes, the dating environment of the 21st century is different. Yes, the dating environment of the 21st century is very difficult. I get all that. But that's your responsibility to figure it out. Your responsibility to find the right woman. Your responsibility to find a woman that you deserve and who deserves you. The standard of good is not sleeping around with a bunch of pretty girls. Never has been. I mean, it is for Andrew Tate. I mean, Andrew Tate tweeted, like, where's that tweet? I have this tweet of Andrew Tate. Let's see. Oops, it's not there. All right, maybe it's disappeared. No, there it is. Here's, here's Andrew Tate's standard for, 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 for masculinity, for success. Genghis Khan had endless women and 200 children as a reward for conquest. Yes, there's the standard. Genghis Khan is the standard for the modern man. We should all seek to be like Genghis Khan, the barbarian. I am the most searched man on the planet. This is Andrew Tate, not me. I have conquered Earth. I am the highest status male on the planet. Females do not expect loyalty from me. They only expect that of a lesser man. <laughs> really. The, the females you attract, Andrew Tate, which are... Pfft. You got to be kidding me. All right, and this is the problem that men face. They face Andrew Tate on the one side, the left on the other side, and on the third side, the side that seems to be you know, rejecting the left, but also rejects Andrew Tate, is Matt Walsh. So let's take a look at what Matt Walsh thinks the essence of masculinity is and what its appeal is, right? And uh, we'll see that this is the false dichotomy, the false presentation. It's the same thing that, that, that Ben Shapiro does. It's all, you know, this, this materialism. If you don't have materialism, what do you need? Well, you need religion. He won't mention religion here, but it's, it's implied. It's all underneath. It's either materialism or religion. Those are the two options in life. And I understand that if those are the two options in life, you might, you might want to choose. I don't know. I, I, I think if those are the two options in life, it might be time for suicide, to consider suicide. Men like Andrew Tate get the hottest women and regular men today enjoy their fat whales, really. You have no clue whoever wrote that. You have no clue what, he doesn't get the hottest woman, he gets the dumbest woman. He doesn't get the hottest woman, he gets the most, the, 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 easy, the mo women who are most easy to manipulate. You want a really hot woman? Is a good looking woman with brains. And he doesn't get a single one of those. But those are the ones that a good human being, a good man, a masculine man properly understood, those are the kind of women you should seek. A woman with a character, a woman with a mind, a woman with a brain. That's what you want. 
but not if you're a pure materialist. Not if you think it's just about life. And, and he's pathetic. He has no self-esteem. Everything, you know, he believes in muscle. He's a barbarian. And barbarians have no self-esteem because if human life requires reason and if they cannot, not in the world. I mean, this is the, this is the problem today. This is why they're so confused today. What they're confused about today is the fact that they used to, they used to be the dominant men. Because in a world of muscle, they were the, they were the top of the heap. And today they're not. Today, people like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. You ever see that documentary called, what was it, The Revenge of the Nerds? It's the nerds that are at the top. Andrew Tate has no self-esteem. No self-esteem at all. Ultimately, he hates himself. Yes, I absolutely believe that. People who uh, emphasize the material, who emphasize force, who emphasize, who, who sleep around. No, that is not a lie. He has no self-esteem. If you understand what self-esteem is, he has none of it. Self-esteem comes from using this to achieve your values, not being a little child. Materialism is not self-esteem. Lashing out in the way he does is not self-esteem. Saying two plus two equals whatever I say it is because I'm strong is not representative of self-esteem. Self-esteem is knowing you belong on this earth because you know you can use your mind. He doesn't have that because he can't. He can use his mind to manipulate. He can use his mind to manipulate people. He can't use his mind to actually actually change the world, to actually have an impact on the world. Read the definition of self-esteem. Andrew Tate does not qualify. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.